You know, the great thing about flying these older aircraft is that uh, not very much is automatic. You've really got to know how to do it yourself. And, um, you know, we're really lucky with Air Atlantique that most of us grew up with these older aeroplanes. It's a, it's a real privilege. It's not something that most people get to do these days. Uh, but both myself and the, uh, the other captain flying over the last few days, we've both been with Air Atlantique for uh, 15, 20 years. And uh, I, in fact, started flying with Air Atlantique uh, with a PPL. They trained me, and the first commercial aircraft I flew was the DC-6. So uh, I've been operating this one for quite a long time, and it's definitely the best aircraft there is. Well, we have always been allowed to operate this aircraft to crew when it's non-public transport. Public transport is commercial cargo or passenger operations. Um, but uh, when we're flying for what is essentially private operation, uh, when we're not being paid except for an air show, of course, um, then we can operate to crew. Uh, we sometimes operate with an obser observer who's a, an experienced older aircraft pilot. Um, but actually the aircraft originally was designed to operate 
with two crew and having the flight engineer just makes your life much much easier uh, particularly on an air show the middle seat the flight engineer's seat is very very busy but it is something that you can do with two people it just means you're both working very hard but on, on the air show now you were only two in the cockpit right that's right uh -huh. yeah so it's uh, it's pretty tough oh, I guess, uh, it's yeah. much harder for the guy who's not flying actually because the guy who's not handling the aircraft has to monitor the temperatures and the rates of change. I mean, the big thing with these big radial engines is not so much the range of temperatures that you operate in, but the rate of change. So you can't come sweeping back on the power like you can with a jet engine. You have to maintain a certain amount of power all the time. So if you increase or decrease power, you make that very gently, and you have to close or open the cowl flaps to compensate so that you can decrease the rates of change of temperature. And that's the real skill, particularly with an air show where potentially you're making some fairly big power changes. So what we try to do is create a routine that enables us to use just one or two power settings and we use the height of the aircraft and the configuration to change the speed. So that helps a little bit, but yeah, two crew is it's good fun, but it's very busy. Diese Art von Fliegerei natürlich nicht mit Passagieren an Bord, aber in der Mitte auch mal wirklich etwas Besonderes, ihre Flugzeuge mal ein wenig im Grenzbereich zu bewegen. bestimmte Begriffe. Und in dieser Konfiguration, wenn da das Fahrwerk draußen ist, die Landeklappen möglicherweise vielleicht auch schon mal sitzen. Es geht also auch dort in die heiße Phase.